use a wire crimp connection, you take your stripped wire, insert it into the base of the crimp connector, hold it in place, locate the gauge wire insert for your crimpers, put it in place, and squeeze. I didn't say that right, so I'm not squeezing. To use a wire crimp connector, take your stripped wire, insert it into the base of the wire connection, cr the crimp connector. Okay, let's go. To use a wire crimp connector, take your stripped wire, insert it into the base of the crimp connector, hold it in. To use a wire crimp connector, take your stripped wire, insert it into the base of your crimp connector. Locate the strip crimp position. When stripping wire, you'll want to find the. When stripping wire, you generally only need to cut half an inch. So, you take your wire strippers, you locate the gauge wire you are using. In this case, I'm using 18 gauge or 16 gauge wire. So, I'm going to insert half an inch into that. Squeeze and pull. And that did not work. I'm When stripping wire, you usually only have to strip half an inch of insula insulation. I this is a sample, an example. This is an example of a simple hydraulic system using syringes and hose filled with water. When the syringe moves, the arm moves. I'm going to show you by picking up this small block. I didn't do this very well. Someone moved the block. <laughs> this is an example of a magnetic switch controlling a motor. As I place the magnet next to the magnetic switch, it turns on the motor. That would have been good. This is an example of a magnetic switch controlling a motor. As I place the magnet next to the switch, it controls the motor by turning it on and off. Doesn't want to do it twice in a row. This is an example of a magnetic switch controlling a motor. The battery is connected to both the motor and the magnetic switch. When I place a magnet next to the switch, it closes the switch, causing the motor to turn on and off when I pull it away. I'm not this is an example of controlling a relay switch using a remote control car controller. The steering power leads are connected to the coils of the relay switch. The single light is connected to the normally closed pin of the relay switch. These three Christmas lights are connected to the normally open pin of the relay switch. When no power is applied, the single light burns because it is connected to the normally closed pin of the relay switch. When power is applied, it sends power from here to the relay switch, causing the circuit to open, which... What? Close. But this is normally closed. Oh.